Hey guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how to use read only command in shell scripting. Now read only command can be used with variables and functions. And by the name itself, we can understand that it can be used to make variables or functions read only. So they cannot be overwritten. So let's take an example. So first of all, we will uh, take a variable, for example, var, and then we will assign some value to it. So for example, 31, right? And now we can use a read only command on this variable. So just write read only, and then the name of the variable. So read only space var, for example, okay? And till now everything is okay, but now after this point, Whenever we want to re reassign some value to the variable, same variable, var, then let's see what happens. So we will just uh, run our script, for example. And you can see on line number seven, var read only variable. So it gives us a warning that var is a read only variable and we cannot change the value of it. So let's print the value of var, for example. So I'm going to just echo, and then uh, var is equal to, let's give it something like this, and then let's print var. So let's uh, print the value of var, and the value of var is 31. So even though we have reassigned a value of var to 50 but the var remains same as this one which is 31 because we have made this var variable read only and we cannot reassign any value to var because it's a read only variable now and you will also see this warning so you will be able to understand that this is uh, read only variable. In a similar way, the functions can also be made read only. So let's take an example. So I'm going to create a hello function, for example, and then I will just print hello world using echo, for example, hello world. Okay, so everything is okay right now. And whenever we call this function hello, and let's run the script once again and it prints hello world everything is okay right now if we want to make this function read only then we use a read only first of all the read only keyword which is uh, this one right before the function name but this will not make your function read only for functions you need to use minus f flag okay so you need to use this minus f option in order to make a function read only, right? And now whenever you want to overwrite your functions, for example, I will once again create a hello function and I will just echo this time hello world again, right? Something like this. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to run the script and you can see this warning at line 19 and it says, hello, read only function, right? So from here, we know that this error is coming from uh, the line 19, right? It will give you the place where it's coming from. And it says that the function is read only. So we cannot overwrite this function, okay? So read only command can be used to, uh, you know, create a variable or a function read only. That means we cannot, uh, you know, reassign the value of variable in case of variables, and we cannot overwrite a function in case of function if the function is read-only function. So sometimes we need these kind of read-only variables and functions in our script, and this is how we can achieve them, okay? Now, for example, we just write the keyword read only here at the last okay so what happens when we write a uh, read only keyword only and nothing in front of it so let's run the script and let's see what happens and you can see here 
uh, after this warning we will be able to see all the variables which are read only by default right so let me make it a little bit clearer i'm going to just uh, you know remove everything and i will just use a keyword read only and let me clear the terminal and run the script once again and it gives us the list of all read only built in uh, variables which are listed here you can see that that bash opts are read only and we can see bash pid is read only bash version info is read only euid is read only right so all these uh, you know variables are built in and they are read only you can also use the option minus p with uh, this thing and this will give you the, almost the same result okay so if you want to see the list of all read only variables uh, yeah, then you can use read only only like this or with the flag p okay and if you want to see all the read only functions then you just need to use minus f flag okay so once again let me clear the terminal and let me run the script and right now there is no read only function right and we can uh, create this kind of function so once again i'm going to create the hello world function so and i make this function uh, read only something like this right and then i just write read only minus f and let's see what happens so now it gives us this function which is read only okay so minus f is for uh, functions so if you write read only minus f and nothing in front of it it will give you the list of all the function which are read only okay so minus p for variables and minus f for functions so i hope you've enjoyed this video please welcome and subscribe and bye for now